Hey folks, welcome back. Today we're playing some Mechabellum 1v1, so let's get started. Um, in the 1200 MMR range right now, I've been having good luck this morning. I did I played a couple games off stream. I'm at 1252 right now. Um, I resolved to try to avoid playing Tarantula as a starting unit because I feel like that's not where they shine the best. I feel like they work better as a in actually like an anti-air role against wasps. That's sort of my niche for them that I have set up based on the technologies and stuff that I have for them. Um, and I feel like they're very vulnerable to storm callers, which are a common pick at the outset. And then they don't really scale terribly well into the mid game. I feel like if they're in a frontline role, so at least it's difficult to get them to scale that way. So I've been trying to play tanks and uh, tanks in. Um, What's it called tanks and fangs or tanks and crawlers as my sort of favorite pick. That seems to be working out okay for me. So this marksman specialist looks really solid. We got crawlers, we got we got our chaff, we got our front line, and then we're gonna have some anti-unit, and then all we need is anti-air. Giant specialist wasn't bad either. I get marksman right. Okay, he also says GLHF. What does he got? He's got tarantulas, so we're not going to win against this round one, probably. Um, but we're going to set up our chaff for the late game. We're going to put out some fangs. So that, uh, this formation's terrible. We're going to put out some fangs about like that. So that they can defend against a wasp blank. Um, and then do I want to go vertical with the tanks? I think I do. Makes them better against steel walls, which will probably not be relevant, but it makes them better against chaff, which is probably more relevant. Although it makes them worse into the tarantulas, but I don't know if he'll... I'm, ass I'm assuming he's going to get some kind of chaff, and then this will come into play. So we're going to look to go... Put more crawlers on the outside in the next couple of rounds. I think that's good. Fair enough, he got crawlers. He's playing elite. Okay. So we're going to have trouble with Chaff Clear here in the opening rounds. Especially since he's destroying half of our tanks already. And we're definitely not going to win this round. There's no question about that. But I think we're going to have a better shot in the second round when we have our orange man. And we'll probably put some more marksmen down to compliment him. They're not even remotely damaging these guys right now. Round two, we get the marksman unlock. Um... Do we go Scorpion into this, or do we go Sabretooth, or do we go Mustang for Chaff Clear? I like the idea of going Mustang for Chaff Clear, even though it's also bad into Tarantula, because I want to I want to go for the Marksman specialty. Um. Put the sky over here. Looks about right. I don't think we're ever going to use Arc Light, but uh, we'll put it there just in case. I'm to get an attack up already. I think we're going to skip it for now. Elite Specialist's biggest Achilles heel is that every all their units are super expensive, so we're gonna try to like bank on that. He's just giving me free experience points here. I'm not sure why he set up his crawlers that way. I guess for the late game they'll be good. He's gonna get some XP off of my level two Mustangs here. That's okay, because we got his tarantula. 
we'll be able to get his marksman here without too much difficulty. I don't know if we're going to win the whole thing. I think the tower timing's not going to be good for us, probably. Yeah, that's bad. Uh, we did get his... Huh? 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 Okay, nice. That worked better than I thought. Um, we could level up our tanks and get, like, armor. Nano is also interesting, but at this early stage of the game, I really want supply, I think. We go with that. We're gonna go with that. Um, since he's invested so much in crawlers already, I don't think we want to... I don't want I don't think we want to go um Hold on, let me play and then I'll talk. I want to get one more set of Mustangs in the middle here, I think. Next round, probably. Our tanks have now had leveled his tarantulas, which is good. I was thinking, I don't want to get armor is, yet, is what I'm thinking. Uh, his tarantulas are close to a level, though, so... Mm, I don't know. We got good chaff clear on both sides now. I'm happy about that. And he got storm callers, which we can counter with the um, mustangs if we need to. But I prefer to get range on the mustangs and use our other stuff to counter. Hmm. Yeah, we should be all right here. Yeah, we're good. He also got supply. Uh, laser sight on the orange man is interesting. Laser sight on the Mustang is also really interesting. I think he's probably going to go orbital. Let's go... I'm going to go Mustang in the middle. I think I'm going to give these guys laser sight, even though they're not highest level, because I think they will end up getting high level um, with this positioning and with the item. Question is, okay, what kind of twist do we want to provide for our buddy over here? Um, Let's get Wasp flank. Um, do I want the wasps, other set of wasps back here, or do I want them? No, I do want them back here, because I want to get rid of his storm collars. Could also sentry missile these, but they're good source of experience points, so I'll probably leave them alone. Um, we already got the mass recruitment here. We get a level in this guy, and then we have 100. We don't really have anything good to spend it on, so I'm just going to save them for next round. We could get an attack or defense, but... I don't know if it's worth it at this point. Um, you know what? No, I think it is worth it for the Mustangs. Especially the level 1 Mustangs. Okay, he's not defended against the Wasp flank. So he's going to lose this round pretty hard. He leveled one of his tarantulas. Okay. Right, his, his, the snipers are distracted, which is nice. And our Mustangs in the middle got to level up, sure enough. Very good. I'm gonna level the Mustangs, obviously. Uh, shield drop is really interesting here. It's got a level in this tarantula. Elite Rhino is kind of scary for us. Um, I don't have armor piercing on these guys currently. If I were to go absorption module, what would I put it on? I mean, we could also go Elite Rhino, right?
Let's go for shield. I think the shield's good for our economy. These um, upgrade the wasps. And then do we keep them there or do we move them? I think we're going to move them. And then what next? Maybe Stormcallers? Could also go range on the snipers. I think we need another set of tanks, actually. Get a little more front line here. And let's shore up our um, crawler lines. Okay, I think that'll do. We got anti-air on the arc lights, that kind of makes sense. But his arc lights are way in the back, so it's probably not going to help him out too much. Because our wasps aren't there anymore. This guy has absorption module, but it's not helping him much. Because he's going up against a bunch of little units. It did slow down the left side, though, so substantially. But it's not going to win him the round. And we can level our tanks here. You probably want Sandworm here, I'm thinking. To destroy the tanks. We could go Farseer and sell it, or we could go Overlord. Kind of thinking I want forts, actually. Maybe some forward chaff. Let's go Farseer, sell the Farseer. Um. If I wanna, let me get some more chaff or something first. Um, okay, we can still afford this. That's good. Yo, Bellum. Hey, Atomic, how's it going? Okay, let's see how this does for us. He's got some more arc lights up front to counter anti-aircraft, and he's they've got elite on them. Okay, I don't think his elite arc lights can compete with our elite snipers. Well, at least our level five snipers, I should say. They're not actually elite currently. Um, I think. These low storm callers are level three, and these guys are level two. So I think we're at the point now where we need to go anti um, anti missile, especially since he's also got this farseer now, causing us problems. I think the anti missile here is really going to ruin his day. Mustang production is really interesting. Because we've already got giants, and we've already got mustangs. I think that's a no-brainer. And plus it gives us late anti-missile. Which is super interesting. So we're going to put a late arriving port, which is a very strange thing to say. Uh, but it's going to have mustang production. Um... How are we doing on Fang XP here? We got three sets of Fangs only. Uh, 
I can carry good into arc light carry. I don't think it is. I'm not entirely sure on that point. He doesn't have a lot of chaff. We don't have a lot of chaff clear though. Oh no, we got actually we got plenty of chaff clear. I don't know what I'm saying. Um, I think we may, could maybe go storm callers here. Throw in a couple storm callers just to give him a headache, give him something else to think about. Oh, I didn't get the elite upgrade on my sniper, so we gotta get that at some point. Uh, we have an extra hundred. I guess we'll take mobility. Ooh, right. Okay, so he's getting a tempo around here. Actually, I'm not sure if honestly his stuff is still like spread out. I'm honestly not sure if slowing down my units is the best thing for him. I feel like that's better for me than it is for him, potentially. See, so I'm replicate. Uh, replicate on those crawlers could be a problem for us. It occurs to me. Uh, I think this round is still up in the air. This thing is giving us a hard time this far seer. Have to find a way to get rid of that. Uh, maybe a worm would be good. What's, what are his big damage dealers here? Besides the Farseer. It's gotta be the Farseer, right? I mean, we can delete the Farseer. That's fine. I'm actually going to... put this here. And then try to track onto the Farseer and the other guy. Like that. It's kind of a weird play, but... Um... I think fang production is a possibility here because we have this fort so far back. I think we want something like that. I mean, he is going to go for the ion. I think, yeah, let's do the fang production. I feel super confident about this play. Um, I think we want to push here. Oh, I already. Oh well, whatever. He did not go for the ion beam. Okay, well it's okay because we missed his uh, things anyway here. I meant to get an anti-missile device and I forgot. Although it would have been really risky anyway, considering how you got a shield on his force here. That makes a lot of sense. I think the fang production has given him a real hard time. Yeah, that was huge. Okay. I think that might be game. No, not quite. Maybe. That's going to be a lot of damage. Nice. All right. Let's do another one. If it gets a 1300 MMR player, I guess that was to be expected. He's probably going to clean the floor with us, but we'll see. I think the expression is wipe the floor and not clean the floor. Don't mind me. Mm, none of these are amazing for me, I feel like. 
Um, there was a chance. That's true. We're going to go with this because I feel like tarantulas and things are the best natural partners out of all these different groups here. Um, this could potentially go into a fang carry. Although if he gets marksman, he's definitely going to win the first round. What are these formations? These default formations sometimes are totally crazy. I don't understand them. Um... Tarantula is actually a little bit faster than the fangs. We want the fangs to go first, I think. Do it like that. I'm pretty happy with that. Playing aggro. I think he's gonna get onto the tower. I'm a bit concerned about this. The one set of fangs in the opposite corner prevent a wasp plank, I guess. Uh, yeah, we're gonna lose the we're losing the round for sure here because we lost the tower. Although uh, this tower timing might be okay for us, but I think we're gonna lose most of our guys first. Yeah. No, it's not really working out. Tarantula is too slow. Tarantula is gonna get a lot of XP though. Okay. Oh, he's playing Fortified Specialist, too. Hmm. That's too early for a lead steel ball. This will strike's interesting because it's free. Electromagnetic in impact is interesting because it covers this whole business here. I think we're going to get one of those. And one of those, and maybe another group of fangs on that side, I think. Yeah. Good thing about a crawler flank here. He also got Electromag. And he also dropped it over here. I wonder if range is better or worse for this. I probably should have got another tarantula over here. Oh no. This guy's gonna wipe the floor with me. Holy crap. We're off to a real bad start here. I wonder if mech rage on the fangs would help. I think it might. I feel like this guy's gonna go photon just because that's the most annoying possible option. 
Um, we're gonna put some crawlers on his flank over here. I knew it. He was going to go into Mustang. That's rough. They're getting some XP in our fangs here, so maybe that's something. Oh, they're going onto this guy now, though. Mm. This guy's sort of holding his own. Okay, we actually killed one of his tarantulas over here. That's an improvement. Get off my tower. Aha! Take that. How do you like it, huh? How did he manage to defend this tower? Did he missile? I didn't see. I feel like I just need a bunch of fire at this point. Um... Arc lights would be helpful, but he's probably going to get sledgehammers. He's not going to get melting point for sure. Right. I'm going to get sledgehammers because I think we just need more bodies in between him and the tower. Is it going to go for this side? He might. What did he do over here? Oh, he's got the damn Mustangs. I could put, what if I gave Sledgehammer's armor? Probably not going to expect that, right? And we can get mech rage on our things, or do we get range? I think mech rage is more important because we're struggling for damage right now. I have the feeling he's going to put tanks on this side here, and I'm a little worried about it. I forgot we're air spec. We get free wasps. Mobility. Spider mines. Okay, well, it's a good thing we got the mech rage. Kill it, don't let it get the spider mines. Okay, the fangs should be okay into spider mines, I think. Timing seems to be working out here. Uh, we're still gonna lose the round though. Man, these tanks these tanks took forever to come in. Okay, we killed this huge tarantula. That's huge. That seems redundant, but it's true. And we won the round. That's also huge. Tank flank. Who was it that said that to me the one time? He's going to put a scorpion over here. I just know. Um, <laughs> I'm going to put crawlers over there with super heavy, super heavy armor just because of, of the WTF factor. But I think it's a bad idea. Dragon. That's right. So we're going to put these guys over there to soak up a possible missile or whatever. Um, mech rage on the tanks. We could also get spider mines. That'd be fun. Or we could get a hacker. 
What am I doing? What am I trying to actually do here? We're going Fangary, right? Not doing good on XP for our fangs, really. Oh, we've got the damn Electromag again this round. This is going to be a mistake. Ugh. I think we just need the one. What did he put here? A fort? Okay. Oh, he nuked that flank with the Electromag. I didn't expect that. I thought for sure he was going to defend the, um... Well, we also nuked the flank, so I guess that works out, kind of. Gonna have to sell those tanks. Now he's got a fort invested in the back. We can... Okay, we're going to win this round. That's good. And we're transitioning hard into Fang Carry, which I like. Though he also has powerful Mustangs, so I'm a bit concerned about that. But Mustangs don't have Mech Rage, so... Hmm. Not enough damage to really matter. Um... Stormcaller would be really good for him. It's not so great for us. Really, with this setup, he wants Steel Balls, right? I think we want Overlords. And let's go... Photon. Uh, we're gonna sell out of the tanks here. Uh... Upgrade, upgrade. I was thinking about going for it, and then I totally forgot. That's okay. I think he's going to go for this flank now, if I had to guess. Let's get rid of these stupid orange chaff. Just don't need any of that. Are these guys doing anything? Yeah, this guy is. Hey, Grace Edwards, how's it going? Doing okay? How about you? Oh, my, he blocked my missile. Darn. Oh, now I think a hacker would be a good play here. Come on, Fangs, kill that tower. No! You're taking too long. Oh, that was real bad. We need forts, too. Lightning Storm? Is that good? I don't think it is. We're going to go Advanced Missile Device. Because I want to just delete these shields at the start of the round.
You know what? This guy's wide open. I'm just gonna put some crawlers over here and delete that tower. And then let's get mobility to make sure that happens. Let's sell some tanks over here. Guys are doing work, so we'll upgrade them, I guess. All right, I think that's what we got for right now. I forgot to get the hackers. I'll get them next round if we survive this round. Oh, come on. Somehow, yet I knew and yet I hoped that it would be otherwise. Yeah, we lost this round hard. I meant to get another fort to protect the other half. Well, I mean, we got the... What's it called? Oh, we lost that thing already. Where did my other group of... My, my group of crawlers that I had over here just disappeared. I don't know what happened to them. Did he put another group of Mustangs down? Yeah, that's game. Put some kind of emoji up there, but I didn't see what it was. Uh, I'm from Delaware. Why do you ask? You play Mike Mellum? Um, that information's in my Twitch profile if you want to look it up. Yeah, we got a strong start here, I think. We got plenty of chaff. Got to check his specialty. His speed spec, okay. I feel like this could go either way, but probably he's got this in the bag. Uh, well. Oh, he's gonna get this first, so the tower timing is gonna work out in our favor, actually, I think. If we can kill this tower quick enough.
Oh, that was the end of the... Wait, what? I still had seven seconds left. That's weird. Seems like a bug. Subsidized marksman. I don't really feel comfortable getting subsidized marksman into Mustang carry. Or Leaf Fang. I don't know if any of these are really great for us. I want to get two sets of tanks. Oh, I should have leveled these tanks up. Oh, well. I think this should be all right. Yeah, Mark's... And I think that's going to be enough. We're going to go mech, mech Rage next round and just cut through all of this. And we'll probably have to put some chaff up front, too. These fangs on the outskirts could be doing more. And some good XP for the orange man here. Not that he needs it. This is going to be another one that comes down to tower timing, which I think is not going to work in our favor in this case. Uh, yeah, no. He beat us by one arc light. Heavy armor? Yeah. Put heavy armor on these guys. Mech rage. And then we're going to put some more chaff in front. Or maybe we need a marksman on the other side. Let's get a marksman on the other side and then get some chaff. Um, which kind is a question. Probably Fang's good for now. Should look for opportunities to flank this guy. I mean, he's got a Mustangs covering his flanks. So actually a tank flank could be okay here. Shields, okay. Interesting choice. He added more arc lights. Yeah, we don't have enough chaff on our front line. This friendly or enemy chaff? That's friendly. We're not going to have quite enough damage to punch through these shields, though. Well, we got one of them. Uh, I think at this point we could go to Stormcallers, but he's got the Mustang, so kind of loath to do that. And maybe go Scorpion. Scorpion or Sabretooth. I think Saber. I know it's, melting Point's not good for the setup. It's not really good for him either. I think Scorpion's the way to go here for sure. We could go Electromag on the tanks. That would be all of our money though. I don't think it's worth it just to get rid of these two shields, which are kind of temporary anyway. Do we want to go for the tank flank? Yeah, let's do it. I think it's going to really weaken his right side here. And then we've got this guy on the left. Ish. 
I'd rather have this guy over here, actually. He went for the saber tooth. Okay. Uh, damn, he covered it with crawlers. Bad luck for us. I think we need armor on the tanks, actually. Uh, that's also 500. And he's already got Saber Tooth, so it's probably not the best play. Okay, we got on the uh, Orange Man onto his Saber Tooth, so that's something. We, yeah, we lost this round hard, though. Tank flank was a mistake. Barrier's interesting here, but he's got the cyber tooth, so I don't know. We're really so behind on tempo that I'm hey, um, hesitating about efficient light unit. Barrier's a good spell, though. Um, I think we need to go Vulcan, actually. We're struggling with chaff clear. Get rid of these guys. I did a whopping 3,000 damage, but I'm banking on him doing more this round with the Vulcan in front of him. We get another Scorpion on this side to get rid of the shields quicker. He's spending so much money on shields, though. we got to be beating him on economy. question is, can we get the tempo? Could be okay. Don't think we're gonna win this one still, but it's closer. Uh, well, okay, we got this hero scorpion on the left doing work. They got the tower at a real bad time, but we still cleared most of his units here. That's not terrible. Considering how much he spent on shields the last couple turns, I think that's a good trade. Uh, quick teleport is interesting. The cooldown does nothing for us currently. We put another Vulcan in the middle here. I think that's... No, I'd rather just buy a Vulcan than put it there. This guy did way more damage this turn, which is what I expected. That's good. I'm gonna sell anything. I'm happy with how these guys are doing. I think we're good. Got the shield drop. To get Scorch on the Vulcans next. Maybe Acid on the Scorpions this is the way to go, actually. 
A lot of small instances of damage from the tanks and stuff. Oh, it's gonna be close. Again, he spent 300 on shields and just barely won the round, so I'm happy. Ooh, forts. Forts are interesting. Uh, steel balls are interesting too because he doesn't have a ton of chaff, though he does have some. We've already got pretty good chaff clear. He's probably going to want to get the steel balls, right? Let's get the scorch it. Um, and then what else do we get up here? Storm colors is definitely a mistake. Let's get another scorpion in the back here. Let's get acid on the scorpions. And then I want to promote this scorpion, but I also have a deployment that I should use. I want to upgrade the scorpions. I think that's really important, actually. So we'll push for that, even though it seems weird. The damn shields, man. Maybe we get Electro and the snipers just to get rid of the shields. Like this guy has a shield problem. Needs to get help. He's got storm crawlers. I don't like that. I mean, it's a good thing I got some crawlers this round, but man, that's gonna hurt. We lost our middle. Um... Uh, we might have actually lost this round. I mean, by which I mean lost the game. Mm, probably not quite. Oh, come on, no, no. Oh, that upsets me. <laughs> All right, last game. Now, this guy beat me by shields every round for like four rounds, and <laughs> that just kills me. I need Electromag. I should have got Electromag Wasps, maybe? I don't know. Not sure if the acid was good for me or bad for me, because it seemed like it did as much damage to my units as the enemy. Cost control storm colors seems like a disaster. This is good. Is yeah, so we're not gonna win this one. Typhoon Specialist. Is it round two or round three? We're also getting our thing on round three. This guy's serious about his chaff clear. Holy cow. Oh, that's bad. Tanks are locked on too.
At least the fangs are pitching in. But it's not going to make a difference. So we need like a scorpion, ideally. It seems like a Rhino Assault type, I feel like. Stormcallers, maybe? Yeah, you know what? If we get the Stormcallers in the right spot, they'll delete these guys before we even get it to the fight. I think that'll be good. This guy's gonna be instantly gone. Or not. I'm gonna go ER Marksman, I think. Oh, do I want this or do I just want to sell it? I think I'm gonna sell it and get another Marksman, maybe. Although it helps with Chav Clear, so maybe I'll hang on to it for now. I want to sell it because I... I'm going to be indecisive. I did not see that coming. I mean, I guess he's killing the Stormcallers here, so it makes sense. Why does he Don't have a level yet. Maybe next round. Was own Crawlers went into the fire along with mine. And so will these. I'm not sure if that worked out for him. Um, we are struggling a little here with chaff clear, though. On account of not having any chaff clear. Could have been worse. Fire Badger seems obvious here. I think Wraith is a better pick for us, though. Let's get rid of that chaff quickly and then swing out into the middle here and get rid of that other chaff also. So Wraith is officially going to be our Chaff Clearer. Not where I want that. This stays over here. 
Um, let's have these guy, this guy arrive a little bit later. The noise that give me one second, guys. The noise like I have a meeting. I don't remember having a meeting on my calendar. Oh, I do have a meeting. Shoot. All right, I gotta wrap up the stream here. Sorry about that. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. <laughs>